and the rain, among many other factors, impacted some of our local wineries and their grapes. So we'll take you out there. KSBY News reporter Lindsay Hyatt spoke to some local wineries and has more. I'm North County Community Reporter Lindsay Hyatt reporting from Paso Robles. Winemakers tell me last winter's heavy rains were positive for Paso grown grapes after several years of drought, and you should be seeing the results in their wine. 2023 um, has been uh, quite the different year for us here in Paso Robles. Vineyard owner Paul Hoover said this season was a wet one. So we started out um, having twice to three times as much rain than most vineyards are used to, which is a good thing. Good for not only growing grapes, but purifying the soil. The rain leached out the salts from the soils, which um, was a good thing. Again, made the acids higher this year than normal here, and acids are a good thing with wine. Those acids are what make for a more natural tasting wine. Normally here in Paso Robles, we tend to have to acidify back is the way we describe it. Uh, but this year, there's so much beautiful natural acid in the grapes um, that um, we're just waiting for those acids to come down. Gary Eberly, owner of Eberly Winery, also noted this year's heavy rains, but added that the weather played a major role in this harvest as well. This is the coldest winter, spring, summer, and now fall I've ever experienced in the industry. However, because this year was cooler than most, that meant Paso's high temps wouldn't ruin the harvest. We've not had the unusual heat spells that we sometimes have. Making for an ideal year. Quality coming in looks pretty darn good. It has the potential of being probably one of the best years we've had in a long time. If you're hoping to taste this year's wine, you'll have to wait a while as it takes several months before it's bottled and ready for sale. In Paso Robles, Lindsay Hyatt, KSBY News.